all you that are watching by TV, God bless you. I like them on Jack Barr. This is an honor, sir. Uh, and I think, you know, more people need to, to talk to the generals of God and, and, and get them on tape. Get them, get the thing while you're still here. I know you're not going anytime <laughs> soon, but we've let too many of our great generals take off before we've you know, you know something I don't know? No. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. So how long have you been in the ministry? Uh, next June I go, and not this June, but next June I go into my 50th year of ministry. Glory. Glory. Yeah. Glory. Yeah. Glory. Started out in uh, cleaning the toilets in the church. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah that's where I started. I cleaned your toilets. Yeah, I know you did in, my, in a church in Tulsa. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Uh, did you some good. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. I understand that you've traveled over 11 million airline miles. Wow. That's just airlines. That ain't airlines. all the private airplanes yeah. that I've flown. Yeah. Wow. Three million just with American Airlines. Wow. Preaching the word. Glory to God. And I've been in... Uh, I've been in... Uh, Actually, three waves. I got saved during the charismatic wave. Then I went among the what we call word of faith, the teaching wave. And now I'm in this new wave. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, so there's three, three waves I've been involved in. Wow. And I've been developed for this wave. Amen. This is, this is what I'm destined to do. Glory to God. Amen. And you're here to deposit part of that into into us. Yeah. Amen. 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 And that's part of your job. Yeah. We know I'm, that. We I'm well able to do it. Amen. Amen. Not bragging, just a fact. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yay. Yes. Yeah. I feel like I'm on Jack Parr. <laughs> Tommy Carson show. It's different. That's great. It's, it's, the, Holy it's, it's the Holy Ghost show. It's the Holy Ghost show. Amen. Now when the applause sign comes on, you know what to do. Yeah. Fall out. Uh, <laughs> I hear you that you mention Kenneth E. Hagin in almost every message you preach. Yeah. How influential has he been in your life and ministry? Oh, I wouldn't be here in the ministry today if it wasn't out his mentoring Amen. and speaking into my life. He's, he's uh, you know, he's gone now, but he has tapes and he still feeds us Amen. all the time. But he was, uh, you know, every joint supply us. In uh, 1971, when I first heard him, God said, get connected, because that's where your supply. When you find out where your supply is and get connected to that, that's your longevity. Amen. Find your man or woman of God who you're supposed to be connected. If you, have, if you don't have a pastor, you're just a church tramp. Wow. But if you get connected right, You'll mature, you will grow, and you'll finish your course on this earth. Amen. And he put, God put me in his life. And then in, uh, eight years later, he put Dr. Lester Sumrall into my life. Yeah. And he, 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 he left uh, an impartation in my life and to help and mold me to the minister I am today. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So it's not just Dr. Ed Dufresne. It's the impartations that other great men have put in. Yeah, if it was just Ed Dufresne, we're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Amen. yeah, that's right. You need, everybody needs somebody Amen. to impart into their lives because you're not smart enough. You need somebody. I always say run around. Don't run around. And, I mean, don't be stupid and run around with people that don't know anything about God. Run around with people that know more about God than you do. Amen. Yeah. And you'll get something. Yeah. Amen. And you won't remain stupid. Yeah. 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 Yay, Lord. Am I doing all right? No, you're doing great. Okay. Uh, I just was going to ask how important is it who you associate with, and but you already answered that. Yeah, yeah. very important. Yeah. yeah. Very important. There's a lot of there's a lot of good TV uh, uh, ministers out there, but who did God hook you up with? Yeah. Right. Uh, you know that they, they were let go and they went back to their company. Who's your company? 
If you're not connected to a company that God puts you with, you'll just float around most of your Christian life. And those two men, along with Brother Copeland, uh, they, they put, God put them into my life to where I'm at today. And that's the truth. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. In 1971, God put a tangible healing anointing in your right hand. He did. And in 1999, an endowment to kill cancer. Yeah, in 71, I went to a meeting where that's the first time I heard Dad Hagen. And after the meeting, uh, I was out in the lobby. There was hundreds of people, all of them weren't Christians. It was a big hotel. It was a Hilton hotel like this, but huge. And uh, I was out in the lobby, and all of a sudden, this light flash had hit me. And about 80, I don't know, 70 to 80 of us that were around fell out under the power of God. And when I got up, that gift was in my hand. Amen. Now, that gift is not uh, what we call gifts of healing. Uh, it is a tangible anointing to transmit into people's lives and drive out sickness and yes. disease. And then uh, in 99, when I went to heaven, God told me about the last days. He told me there'll be two different kinds of churches in the last days. But before I left heaven, he put his hand on me and said, I'm giving you a endowment to kill cancer. And we've seen hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people with cancer. Glory to God. Yeah. Amen. Now we're talking about that tangible anointing, that tangible yeah. endowment. Can you tell me? If I can. In as specific terms as possible, how to cooperate with that anointing. Yeah, when you, when, when, like tonight, I'll minister to the sick with that anointing. Now, there's other times I can operate as a seer. I can see things uh, by the gifts of the Spirit. But this one, primarily, this anointing, I have a line, and then uh, I ask them, you know, when they come up, to say, when hands are laid on me, that anointing will go in me and drive out sickness and disease. Yeah. You see, a lot of people, they'll get in line and, you know, pray, and, and that's good to pray, but not when I lay hands because you're giving out. Right, right. You see, you're giving out instead of giving in. When I lay hands on you, if you, if you want uh, that transmission in your life, then you're to receive it. And when I come up there, just don't say it, just receive. And like I said, just say, I receive that anointing into my body. And once I feel it went in you, I'll say, that's it, that's it. And when I say that, I felt it go in you. Hallelujah. And, it, and then it's on your side from there on. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And then what, then what do we do? Huh? Then what do we do? Well, I have a pamphlet out there, what to do next. <laughs> read the pamphlet. Yeah, read the pamphlet. Because <laughs> there's several things. One, when you go, are you in a good uh, Bible, a Bible-based church that teaches healing? Amen. Because if you don't, they'll talk you out of it. Yeah. That's right. You know, and, and there's a lot of reasons. A good yeah. church and yeah, sitting under the word and so forth. Clarify this. What should I do then when you lay hands on me? Should I be praying in tongues as fast as I could? Should I be praising God? Should I be what what exactly should I be doing? Don't do anything. Just receive. Just, re just receive. Yes. If you're if you're talking and praising God and everything. You're giving out. Now, I learned this. I've been at this for 50, coming on 50 years. And a lot of people don't receive because they're giving out instead of receiving. And there's a difference for this way to work. This ain't the only way to receive healing. There's different ways, methods, anointing with oil, speaking it and believing it. There's different ways. But this is, the, this is anointing that comes along with apostle and prophet, in my opinion. And it's a, it's a, we, we call it a, uh, it, it's a specialty anointing. Yeah. Yeah. Like Paul said, he did special miracles by the hands of Paul. And from his body, they brought handkerchiefs. So it was a tangible anointing. And it would go in the cloth. Uh, and, I, and, and, uh, and that cloth, they'd go and lay it on the sick. And they, that, that, that anointing go out of that cloth and drive out sickness and disease. Thank you. You're welcome.